Finally, the most awaited battery life test is here. What's up guys, this is Mehran from Dynamic Tech and today we're going to be doing a battery life train test of these iPhone models after updating to iOS 16.0.2 as in this test we have iPhone 8 Plus, 10R, 10S Max, SE 2020, iPhone 11, 11 Pro, 11 Pro Max, 12 Pro Max, iPhone 13 and 13 Pro Max. Now to be honest, this video is very important for those who are interested to get any of them in 2022 after the new update which is iOS 16 because this battery drain test is gonna show us what is going to be the average battery backup after iOS 16. So without wasting any time, the brightness is set to almost 80% and all of them are 100% charged and you can see that the iOS 16.0.2 is installed on every single iPhone. We talk about the battery's health so the iPhone 8 Plus has less than 80% health which is 77% while the rest are having more than 80% battery health. But the iPhone 13 and 13 Pro Max has 100% health which is almost new. Now in this battery test, we are going to be using these applications each for one hour. So let's find out the battery backup on iOS 16. In case if you are not a hard user, then I'm going to tell you how much battery backup should you expect from these iPhone models at the end of this video. If you want to understand the concept of this battery test, all you need to watch this video till end. So enjoy the music and I will see you on the other side.
stronger now I won't let me down, no Welcome back. So that's it. Now let's talk about which is worth buying and which is not in 2022. As you can see the SE 2020 was first to die it almost 4 hours obviously with heavy usage. Now if you are buying it for a little bit of heavy usage and some calling and texting then it will be recommended but for gaming and heavy usage it's totally not recommended. And the same goes for the iPhone 8 plus it's best for normal users but not for gamers. The iPhone XR, XS Max and iPhone 11 perform very well I would say but to be honest I will recommend the XS Max among them for gamers and social users as well. If I talk about the iPhone 11 Pro so it's the best iPhone for camera lovers because the battery backup is still good enough and this is the most affordable iPhone with 3 camera lenses. And now the most unpredictable iPhone 11 Pro Max was very close to the iPhone 12 Pro Max which is really impressive and this beast is totally recommended to those who still can't afford 12 Pro Max and 13 Pro Max in 2022. And of course the iPhone 13 did very well and if I talk about the iPhone 13 Pro Max which crossed 10 hours of battery backup with heavy usage which is really shocking. Even after one hour, it has still the same performance on iOS 16. So that's it. Make sure to like and do subscribe for this hard work. I will really appreciate it. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.